Okay, so tell us about spiders. Why are people so afraid of them? You know what? I don't really have the best answer for why people in general are afraid of them, but I think a lot of it is learned behavior. For example, many times I go out and I'm going to feed our golden orbit being spider out there, and if you look at her and if you can make yourself forget for just a moment that she's eight-legged and she's a spider, and look at the colors. She's got these beautiful red and black legs, beautiful black and yellow and gold colors on her. And if you just look at the colors, if you were to look at an ocelot with the black and the yellow, or you look at a beautiful bird, a cardinal with the red and black, you go, oh man, that creature's awesome. And yet, people look at the spider and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, oh, that's gross. And if you can just look at the colors instead, I think you'll be really amazed at the variety of spiders, the diversity of spiders, and the beautiful colors of them. Two of our biggest species of spiders here in Washington. One is a giant European house spider, Tegenaria gigantium. The truth of the matter is, those spiders have always been in your house. Spiders don't really come from outside into your house. House spiders are involved to live in your house. Another one that people see, and they're really noticeable because people end up walking and getting the web in their face, is a big orange and brown cross oil boobers, which is really a European garden spider. Those guys have a very interesting lifespan. And this time of year, the females are big and plump. They're just about to drop their egg cases. And so they've spent the summer growing and catching a lot of the garden pests a lot of flies and mosquitoes that we don't necessarily want to have a lot of in our houses or around our houses in our gardens anyway. So they're doing us a big service there. And also because they have the big, huge, gorgeous webs. If you've been up there in the morning and you see the dew on the webs, look at how intricate it is. It's just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. So if you look at them in the right way and you start to appreciate it, you can understand that you know a lot of these things really have a lot to learn about. And that's why the tarantulas, all species of them, have really become my favorite, one of some of my favorite animals. I mean, all, I love all my stick bugs, I love all my roaches, I love all my true spiders, but the spiders, especially the golden wool weaving spiders and tarantulas, really have become the animal that I've had to, uh, the best, the biggest personal growth in since I've been here as a keeper at Woodland Park Zoo. You're a very interesting person. Thank you. <laughs> no, well, my animals are interesting. I'm going along for the ride. <laughs>